Good morning, good morning, good morning. Coach Ford here. Uh, I'm on day number six or seven of my 40 or 90 day challenge. Uh, I'm up checking emails, up checking um, orders. Uh, and so, you know, the store launch is gonna happen June 1st. So we're, I'm just working on some back office things. Make sure I got the system in place, make sure all those things or in order and make sure that, um, you know, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll for launch. Uh, so, you know, I ordered uh, one stadium chair. Uh, that one's not gonna cut it. So I had to go with a different stadium chair. I had to go with a new supplier as far as um, the, the stadium chairs and things that we're gonna roll out through the Ford X store. Uh, but but I'm excited. You know, what I'm doing is, is uh, part of Worthy Cause and you know, a lot of uh, families that go to sporting events. And, and I noticed like, um, you know, why is it so uncomfortable? Now I understand, right? They don't design it to be comfortable, right? They design it to be cost effective for those companies, which is fine. Um, and, and that's just part of the business. And you understand when you understand that, um, you know, it's, it's part of the journey, right? And part of being an entrepreneur and saying, okay, so what can we do to help alleviate, um, some of those pressures that people feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, you know, that's one of the things that I was talking to my wife about. She's like, you're on the sidelines, so you wouldn't know what it's like to be over there. And I'm like, okay, well, that's a good point. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the cool thing about um, being on the other side of this. Let me see where these orders are at. So I'm really excited. You know, it's my first time launching so I got a couple of orders being fulfilled uh, that we had for March 1st, March 2nd. So that's exciting. That's that's really exciting. So I have a product, I have, a, I have a sample product getting ready to come in from my store. Let me see tracking here. Oh, it's it's close to being delivered. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of some of the products, sample products I have coming in. I'm really excited about this. Uh, so it's starting to become real. And it was already reality. Uh, and so as it gets closer and closer to launch date and, and learning these things, that's what gets cool, right? Like I'm not, a, I, I'm working my way to become a better speaking orator. But when I get excited and I get geeked up, it's like, oh my gosh, right? Um, Get all side checked and focus. So let me see here. Pull up what I got. I got to look at. Okay. Um, I hope everybody's having a good morning. Um, yeah, and you know, you know, I and here's why. And I did this in an earlier video. Um, about helping athletes and, and mentoring them, and and I and and if it wasn't for my mentors and my community and my village, you know, I would have really struggled. So it's important to me that um, we we f I find a way to do those initiatives. So like the Ford X mentoring program, um, you know, I choose to serve athletes. I'm a former athlete myself, so I I get the journey. I get ascending to a level of success in athletics, and then then you go into the real world. And, and then when you go into the real world, you have to figure out who you're going to be. And so, you know, when I think about Ford X and when I think about all of those things, but think, okay, how do we help athletes really uh, transition from one part of our life to the next, right? Because it is scary. And, and I'm actually going to do a video conference with one of my former players who's down at College of the Ozarks and his parents. Uh, first one's going to be his mom. And then we're going to do his mom and dad. Um, and, and we're just going to talk about his journey and, and he's doing really well. He, he, he took my advice and he's running with it. He, he, um, he, he makes me proud and I got a couple other guys that I'm proud of. Um, and so I would like to get them on here and talk to them and just talk about what, what a good mentor slash coach does for players, what it does for people, what it does for individuals, because what I do is so much more than yell and scream on the sideline so if you come into one of my games you're like man coach ford is just letting that player have it and i am letting that player have it because 
what you don't see, the behind the scenes is I spend hours with these guys. I, I'm with them at school. I'm with them in the weight room. I'm with them at practice. I'm with them in the off season. Um, and then when the off season is over, I'm still doing check-ins in them. So it's not just oh, yeah, he got onto him on, on the sideline, and, and, man, he's letting that player have it. No, you saw that highlight of building interactions between me and my player and, and me guiding him and, and trying to get him to comprehend something. When you're on the sideline, there is no baby this this player in, in, in a varsity contest. It's, hey, we have a function and we have a job to do. And so when, if you come and listen to, and this is what inspired my book, just do your job, right? So when I'm talking to my players, it's just do your job. Just do your job. There's nothing to talk about. We discussed this in practice. Now, what I'm trying to get them to understand is like you're you have to shut that part of your brain off that tells you what you can and not do, what you can and can't do, and you have to go do it. So all these things translate to other areas of your life, right? So when I decided to launch my store, I had a job to do. I had a function and commitment to making myself to be the best entrepreneur and business owner can be. So whenever my players come to me in the future and say, hey, coach, I'm looking for work. Great. Hey, I got work for you. One of my mentees comes to me. One of my mentees is working for me right now. Hey, coach, I need a job. Cool. Let's work on sales. Let's work on marketing. Let's work on communication skills. Let's work on these things. So it's much bigger than just what I'm doing, right? And I get passionate about this. I, I mean, mo I'm, I'm putting this out here for the world to see because the world needs to see like what kids, what good, what players are getting from good coaches and mentors, right? It, we're not just showing up and uh, trying to, uh, you know, not play your kid or something, right? Like that. It's so much bigger than that. And so um, I, I want the world to see and, and I want everybody to understand like, and, and then this translates to other areas of life. I get passionate, man. I, I love this game. Um, I'm so thankful for the game of basketball. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to coach. I'm so thankful to be a mentor to so many. I'm beyond blessed and thankful. Um, and, and I'm wealthily abundant in the game of basketball and in and, and, and all areas of my life, right? And so, um, so why am I doing this, right? Because of the love of the game, the love of the kids. And I'm not going to say giving back. I don't, I don't like that term. What I'm doing is giving and serving because that's what's in my heart to do. I'm not giving back because somebody says you need to give back. No, I'm I'm giving and serving because I love people. I love the community. I love kids. I love happy athletes. I love helping parents transition their kids from the start to the end to the finish and then watch them grow and develop. And so if you don't get anything else from this, understanding that what I'm doing is, is fueled by passion. It's fueled by things deeper than inspiration and motivation. Inspiration and motivation is only going to take you so far on the days where you just don't feel like getting up at 5 a.m. to record a video, right? And it's actually it's going on 6 a.m. But regardless, those are the moments, those are the times that you got to grit your teeth and you got to say, okay, hey. So like I, I have some things coming up that um, I need to go check in on some of my players and, and make sure they're okay. And I'm all, I always got to check in on them. Uh, and so it, it's an all the time thing. Like I don't stop mentoring coach when the season's over. The season's November to February. Wrong. The season is all year long. Like checking in on players and making sure they're okay. Checking in on my mentees. Hey, it's not every single day, but hey, what's going on? Uh, you're not living up to the standard. And the standard is the standard is the standard. That's just the bottom line. In our program, the standard is the standard is the standard. And I talked to all my 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 mentees about this. The standard is the standard is the standard. And we're not waving away from the standard. And so what I want for you is what I want for you. And here it is. If you're struggling with understanding the standard for your own life, you need three things to build your village. You need a team of people. You need a mentor and you need a coach. Well, I don't care who. And if you're that macho man, Randy Savage type, turn off the video. You don't want you don't want to be. No, you're not the type of people I want to talk to. I want to talk to the people that want to excel, that want to take their life to the next level, that believe the thing that I believe. I don't need a stubborn guy that doesn't that doesn't believe these type of things because I used to be that guy. And honestly, it held me back from my greatness. I don't want to talk to those people. I don't want to be talked to no guy that's not humble or no person that believes they're bigger than other people and that these things are just houdini magic words it's not that's not how this works go go take that somewhere else right but for the people that need a coach that need a mentor that need that pick me up on the day to day this is i'm that guy right so i'm that guy when i get passionate when i'm having conversations with people I had a conversation with somebody on sunday about hey what are we doing here? What do you want? Like, let's go. Let's attack it. No excuses. And and that's how I have to live my life. That's what I want people around me living. No excuses. Let's get it. And and, and that's what it is, right? So uh, 
tune in on Friday. Uh, Friday, I have a new podcast coming out. Uh, and it's Coach Ford Speaks. Uh, it's episode two, Building Character Through Sports. Uh, this was kind of an insight into that. So I'll actually post this on my YouTube and on my Facebook. Uh, I'm, I'm pre-recording it. Um, because when I'm doing this, uh, when I'm working and, and checking orders and stuff, um, so I, I can't wait for the hardcover notebook and all those things. And anyway, so when those things come out, uh, uh, they'll be out and they'll be available. But I get passionate, man. Uh, I love what I do. Uh, love having athletes. Um, and and I, I eat, sleep, and breathe. And, and basketball, and not because it's just basketball, because I understand there's some kids that need help. Man, don't y'all get like, come on, man. I'm passionate about this. I ain't, man, I ain't put, run, making these kids run line drills for just to make them run, right? No, we pushing them to be something great, something be beyond what they doing, right? Understand that, right? And, and so if you're one of those people that don't comprehend what it takes to be great, you need to message me because you can be great too. I, I, get, oh, I get passionate about this, okay? So if you get a chance, come out, watch us, come, come tra track the journey, come watch these kids grow and develop, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I get passionate and, and, and they feel that passion. They know without a shadow that hey, coach, coach has got my back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got your back. Just do your job, right? So just do your job, book release, uh, 5524. That's on my birthday. I'm excited. Uh, and, and why did I do that? Because I had to challenge myself. I had to challenge myself, right? I had to challenge myself to be the thing that I wanted to be and, and how could I take my players to the next level if I was not doing the thing ultimately that I wanted to do, right? And so I had to guide them and lead them and show them and be the example and I love it, right? I love being free, like I love it. I'm so excited, pumped up. Hey, have a great day.